the past couple of months, I've been doing live streams and working on my indie game. And on those live streams, I've been fixing bugs, such as like fixing bugs with the fishing, fixing bugs with trees, and updating various shaders that I needed to update. I've done fixes and optimizations with the A Star Grid 2D that needed to be done because it was kind of making the game lag a little bit every time I moved to a different chunk. So I made some optimizations with that. I've implemented the avatar creation into the game where you can change the different colors between the eyes, clothes, shoes, pants, hair, and the skin color as well. So you're able to update all of these stuff for your character and when you load into the game it will remember all the changes you made to your avatar and that's the avatar you're going to be playing as. I made a lot of optimizations for the grid and how things are loaded in and when you change to a neat different grid and also with the trees before it was rendering all the trees and now instead of doing that it's only rendering the trees nearby you as you transition to different chunks it, it will update those trees and talking about trees i also updated the visuals of the trees so now i separated the sprites for the trees separately so now you have a trunk a tree trunk the actual wood of the tree and the leaves to be on a separate sprite what this does is that I'm able to update the color for these trees, for the leaves at least, and I have different variations of them. It'll make it a lot easier rather than making multiple trees with different colors. I can just make it black and white, and I can just attach a shader to it and change the color to what I want it to be. And after working with that, I worked on implementing quests into the game, which is something I needed to add into this game. So there's things to do for when someone plays the game and they have things to do, have objectives and all of that. You can have the NPCs that you can be talking to that they can also give you some quests that you'll be able to do. And I'm also able to keep track of these quests or so everything that you do that has to do with this particular quest it will track it remember all the stuff that you do with it as well the last thing that i worked on for the past couple of months is the enemy ai uh, for since the beginning since i started adding uh, adding enemies is this always has been the slimes in this game i never added anything in yet because i was working on other parts of the game first now i've worked i've added a new enemy here which is this little cute I don't, know, I don't know if I want to say cute, but this cool, awesome looking hog into the game, which has various attacks. And with that, I need the attacks to be a little bit modular so that any enemy can do any different types of attacks. And I love the way that I implemented this, uh, the attacking system for this game. It's super modular. I can change different types of attacks that someone can do. So for right now, the hog is actually doing the spinning attack, which just looks super cool. I really love that. And I can actually change that spinning attack and put it to the slimes as well. As long as it has the sprites on it, it will do all this spinning effect which is awesome but yeah that's basically it that i've been doing for the past couple months that i've been going live stream and like i said live stream i've been doing all of this all the optimizations and all of that i've been doing in a live stream so feel free to hop in so you can see how i do things and and if you're not able to make it feel free to just watch watch it on youtube uh this the live streams gets uploaded after it finishes so you're able to go through it if you want and you can see the way that i implement all the stuff that i and but, but yeah feel free to hop in if you guys want to talk and chat if you guys are interested feel free to subscribe follow and then if you change your minds later on you can do that as well anyways thank you guys for watching and talk to you guys later